Welcome Crusader fans to another edition of the Valpo Coaches Show. I'm Aaron Levitt. Joining me today, Valpo Women's Soccer Head Coach John Maravich. John, thanks for being here. Happy to be here this morning. You've uh, continued your good run. I introduced you last time as saying, well, you haven't lost since the first show, and well, you still haven't lost since then. Program record 11 match unbeaten streak, the last five of them wins. You know, obviously very impressive, but I think the more important thing, I'll ask you to start out talking about it, is the 3-0 and start to Horizon League play, including two road wins, one at Cleveland State and then last night at UIC. You know, everybody knows that when you get in the conference play, the intensity goes up, the, uh, the, 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 the pressure goes up, uh, the stress goes up for, for all the athletes. So when you have an opportunity to go on the road and get three points twice, uh, you know, as we say, we're still in points on the road, and then to be able to protect home turf and be 3-0 and in, in the conference, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to be, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a great place to be, but it's, it's where we're at after three games. So we've done everything we can do in three games, can't do anything more than that, and that's where we've got to kind of keep our head at right now is it, it's, been a, it's been a nice start to the conference season, but um, it really has just begun. Looking at the recent five-game winning streak, someone who really stands out up top has been April Cronin. You look at it, four of those five games she scored goals in and assisted on the match-winning goal in the other game. What has worked so well for her recently that's allowed her to find the back of the net during this recent stretch? You know, I just think, you know, for her, it, it, it's just slowing down, being more relaxed on the ball. We've, we've, we've talked about, you know, the quality of your, of your shots to be on frame. So if 50% of your shots are on frame, the number of goals that you'll score will go up. So I think she's, she's done a really nice job of being composed in that, in that last pass, so to speak. Um, and then I think a lot goes to her teammates as well, getting her the ball in, in some really uh, positive situations so that she can finish those chances. Looking at the midfield, I want to go to the midfield for a second because obviously the forwards get the attention for scoring the goals. We've talked at length about the defense and goalkeeper and you know has remained strong throughout this stretch, you know, not, not giving up many goals at all. I think the midfield kind of gets lost in the shuffle and obviously they're a really key component linking up the team. Can you just talk a little bit about your midfield play, especially recently, and how they've been able to help you during this stretch? No, they've been they've been fantastic. You know, you're right. I mean, they they do a lot of the dirty work um, for the team, and then you don't necessarily get all the, all the credit. Um, but Kelsey Draper, Rita Craven, Vanessa Abad, uh, Sarah Ludwig, Cindy Rumpel, just to name a few of the kids that have, have really put in time in the middle of the park for us. Uh, they they they've done a nice job of, of defending well, being good screeners so that it's made it easier for the back four to defend. Uh, and they've been able to, to keep the ball for us and allow us to really set up some nice uh, attacking combinations. Last night we probably played a 1-2 around an outside back three or four times down the flank with, with Robin Wenzel on just simple one-touch passing. And you know what I'm going to show them is in, in the video is that's the exact same passing combination that we did technically earlier in the week. Um, and so, you know, I just think those little bitty details are the, thing, the, the things that they have done recently that have really been kind of that key component to our success. And, you know, when you look at, I mean, Rita Craven, five goals. Um, she's, she's, she has the uh, flair for win scoring the game winners. She's coming out of the midfield. So she's picking and choosing her time when to get forward. And so that's, that's a real nice thing to see in her, in her growth as a player. You mentioned Rita, four of her five goals this year, match winning goals, which actually ties a program record for a single season with numerous matches left to go for her to possibly break that record. Something else historic for the program happened earlier this week, first time in program history that you guys have been ranked regionally in the NFCAA Great Lakes region poll. Something that's tough to do because the Big Ten's in our region. Obviously the Big sure. Ten, very, very strong women's soccer conference. In fact, you look at this week's poll, seven of the ten teams in the poll are out of the Big Ten. So to break into that company is quite the accomplishment. What does it mean for your program, looking kind of big picture, to have reached the point where you've earned a regional ranking? And then looking at this year's team, you know, what, how do you talk to them about it? How do you deal with it to make sure it doesn't become a distraction that, hey, we're receiving these accolades? Oh, it, well, I guess the first part is, is it, all that credit goes to the players. You know, the, the fact that they get recognized to be number 10 in the region, I mean, that just goes to their hard work and, and their dedication to, to pay attention to the details to be really good at our process goals so that the quality of our performance yields quantity. Goals, wins, recognition for you know the team, 
you know, defensive players of the week, those types of things. Those are all just simple byproducts of us taking care of the process goals. So that's just another one of those uh, things that comes along with, with having some success. But what it says to me and the players is when, when we're talking to kids about Valparaiso University, we're talking about fantastic education, we're talking about a great life experience, uh, being a part of a team that has, has a very holistic approach to it, and talking to them about taking ourselves to a different place. The kids who are here, this is what they came here to do. Um, and so their experiences playing in the ECNL and playing in, in, in various clubs, they're preparing themselves for these kinds of situations and these kind of moments. So it was fun to watch them kind of get the news and, and kind of enjoy that. But what we talked about was the you know, same thing. That's just, that's just simply one byproduct of, of us really attacking the process goals, being really good in, in our defensive principles, being good in our attacking principles, the midfielders being good in their possession principles. When you take care of the details, you're really good at the details, the quantity of things come from that because you're putting in a lot of quality work, and that's what they've done. Well, five match winning streak, 11 match unbeaten streak. Big home game Saturday night, looking to extend those streaks, stay undefeated in league play against Youngstown State here at home. What can we expect out of the Penguins, and what do you guys need to do to be successful in that game? Well, I think we, you know, probably more so than anything else, we need to worry about ourselves and, and make sure that, you know, we're going to be at the top of our performance uh, and that we're giving quality to the tactics that we want to put forth in that game. Um, but what I think you're going to see out of the Penguins is, you know, a very, very diligent, organized group that's going to defend. Uh, they've they've had uh, a good run of it. I mean, they've, you know, they beat Milwaukee and Oakland, so they're feeling really good about themselves. Um, they did drop a game last night, but I don't think that's going to affect them. Uh, they're going to come in here just like every other Horizon League team comes into a game is desperately seeking points because points are a premium. So we've got to, you know, we've got to match that intensity as well. Um, so for us, it's just going to be keep the ball, be able to to get the ball to our, our creative and our attacking players and, and let them kind of go to work and then for us to really stick to our defensive principles and, and stay to our game plan um, and, and hopefully that will be uh, enough to get another three points in the league. And that game, 7 p.m. Saturday night, Valpo Youngstown State women's soccer at Brown Field will also be the Crusaders breast cancer awareness match for this season. If you can't make it out, you can watch the game live on the Horizon League Network. Coach Maravich, thank you for joining me today. Good luck this weekend and in the coming weeks. Appreciate it. You can follow the Crusader women's soccer team on social media, Facebook Valpo Women's Soccer, on Twitter at Valpo WSO, Valpo Athletics on Facebook and Twitter for all your athletics news. This has been the Valpo Coaches Show, brought to you by the South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority. Until next time, I'm Aaron Levitt. Go Crusaders.